Hey, welcome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all so much. I'm here a bit late because it's my mom's birthday today. Uh, so happy birthday to her. Queen, princess, crone, maiden, teacher and guide. All of those things and more rolled into one all at the same time. I just love that woman. I'm so proud of her and I appreciate her so much. So thank you. As I know, you will all be joining me in sending her the most awesome energy and dreams tonight as she sleeps on her very happy solar return. We've had a great day. It's been really nice with the family. So I'm a bit tired out. The sun's been shining. But I wanted to get this out for the energies of the week coming, the week ahead, how it looks from a personal, spiritual transforming into the physical energetic wise how it looks for you as an individual uh, the energies you might feel within you around you or within others and also uh, looking at the what do you call them I would say that you know the the people that we know we are facing right now um the puppets no that that doesn't stick that to the 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 political side the the elite sort of top table it it speaks to how they they run th with the veins through the people that walk amongst us too the things that are a part of the agenda that we sort of need to be aware of either personal agendas of different groups or you get what I'm saying don't you it's not a elite thing it's just a parasitic thing so there's a reading on that too so looking at the week ahead the energy is coming up please leave a comment as to how they resonate with you and you know come back to the video and let us know how you navigated the energies hopefully for your greatness because that's exactly what I would want from these guidance videos for you to be able to take what resonates and really use it for your greatness. So for that, we look at the five of wands. The first card is the five of wands. Focus in. And you can see there, there's sort of like the, the whacking sticks, whacking wands. Wands are a fertile energy, a passionate energy, a, a procreational energy. It, it's a, it's a fire. It's a, it's a spirit. It's it's an element that you can use for renewal, even when it looks like it's devastating the ash that is caused off forest fires, for instance. You'll see huge amounts of regrowth afterwards where the, where the ground's really done well by just starting again, just allowing the roots to do their magic and and for all of that energy to be put into that, to create strong stalks, all of those things. Um, so it's a fertile, passionate, it's a fire starter energy. Now the five is the midpoint, the hump day, the, the, the changing point, but there is an energy here to say, so what's stirring you? What is distracting you? What are you still holding on to uh, as a want for a result? Uh, maybe it's for someone to finally see the truth, for maybe for you to finally be um, recognized and given recognition for being right or for what you've been through. This five of wands is a conflict really with, it's not a, a it's not a great strategy to stay in this energy. The way that you would use this card for your greatness and the energy that comes with this card is to see where you are put in your energy, where you're put in this fire, this passion, and really dig down deep into the layers of self-reflection to see why, truly why. When you think you've asked yourself why enough, ask yourself why three times more as to what is it that I have hinging on this? Uh, where Where is the real power in this struggle then? If it is my ego some way, somehow, as you dig down deeper through those layers of self-reflection, pulling me into something, actually, when I look at it, is, is very little payoff or 
can actually be detrimental to the very point I was trying to make. And so there's a real energy here of greatness when you take this card on board and have the let go through self-reflection, slowly letting the grip loosen to where your energy is being put and it's being stuck in. Because if you stay stuck in the five of wands, it's just this end, endless wand whacking ceremony where there's actually very little payoff and there is a lot of... Um, disintegration around you if you were to carry on in this card for too long instead of using it as a highlight tool um around you the the relationships around you that actually if you had enough self-reflection you would want to harness and want to put energy into you would want to put fire and passion and drive and purpose into so those things can be lacking when there's so much distraction and energy being put in an endless wand whacking ceremony. <laughs> Let's call that this, this week's reading, wand whacking. So we've got the High Priestess as the next card. So, you know, she's holding the Torah. There's the Boaz and Jashen um, pillars there, the yin, the yang, the black, the white. Uh, the, the pillars of knowledge behind her is the pomegranate curtain and that speaks of the fertility but also speaks of there is a level of um, the adept coming to to this to this energy to the throne of this energy in that it is it's the epitome of divine feminine or, or big fractal of the divine feminine energy in the tarot where it, the the unseen the hidden knowledge the occult knowledge um is there it's 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 present for those that are adept enough to see it and so using the five of wands here with um applying it to your self-reflection and digging down into those layers will sort of give you the qualification uh the right to peer behind the pomegranate curtain to peer into the the inner chambers of the unseen uh into the 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 hidden the divine feminine essence that is there waiting to guide you through uh more of that self-reflection to reveal more of divine feminine within you where you're able to process have grace and poise about where you're going to put your energy next and that's a great card going jumping into the bottom of the deck which would be the underpinning of the reading I want to jump there because that's the six of wands and so you go from the five of wands where you sort of distracted wand whacking nobody's really winning nobody's really losing there's very little payoff self-reflecting with that where are you being stirred and why continuing to ask yourself those questions until you get the key until you've paid the entrance fee to speak to the divine feminine energy around you and within you and connect the dots as to the the real deeper hidden message that has maybe has been buried in a lot of wand whacking noise and so then you move on with that self-reflective tool using that divine feminine essence within and around you you move on to the six of wands which is a victory card it's a ride in the wave of victory on the horse there um it's the it's the cycle with the wreath uh, uh and the the fertility and the the it's the result it's the medal of that of that fertile self-reflection of that fertile intent as to where to put your fire and your passion and there is this togetherness with that in that you're able to really put your energy into the fertile relationships around you um, finding purpose in them and so you see on the six of wands card there is this 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 victory on, on back of the horse but there's also this legion of people around also holding ones up with the same purpose with the same intent and they are moving forward they are moving away from that conflict and distraction as a more unified group and so this is where the power really lies for you this week 
as to how you can really use these energies to really sharpen that self-reflective essence and tool that you have within yourself when you stop being afraid of yourself, when you stop being afraid of the answers that you might give to yourself. And uh, that's where the healing comes in. So we've got the star card as the next card. And this speaks of really deep, raw. You see, she's naked here. There's a lot of divine feminine energy mixed with the in the in the unseen, in the hidden aspects of, of our saga, of our creation story. But also that is impacted by the complete balance also of the ones, the symbol of of the male fertility, the the action, um, the the fire in the physical. And so there's a real shift here that when you can take yourself away from the distraction of the 3D into the self-reflective tools that, that are an endless trip into the vortex of you and not be afraid of you as you're going down that rabbit hole of you. There is deeper and deeper healing to be had in the roots of you. And there is more unity, there is more power, there is a force, but it is a it's moving into the physical reality for those that can take on board these energies and apply them. You'll feel that shift this week for sure. I feel like the weather person, you feel that shift over this hemisphere. Just make sure you're balancing up those hemispheres. You know, it's all about balance here with those two pillars. Doing that in the unseen can really impact how well you do that in the physical, in the in the felt, in the seen, so to speak. So going on to the collective as to things to be aware of, let's say. Let's say things to be aware of. We have got, as a quick rundown, we've got the star card again. We have got the king of wands in the middle, and we've got the sun card. So two major arcanas, again, just like the reading before, heavy hit in energy, intense energy. But speaking of the star, here we see um, wreaths being thrown, being given to the waters by this guy here with the stars above gracefully giving over and 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 the birds are attracted to it there is a frequency of healing here and it's it's a provision for all it's a it's a giving thanks for the ability to be our raw and thought authentic selves to be able to bear the scars of of this 3d and also see those scars not as a wound so to speak but as a map as a as a star map on the body as it is in spirit of the experience that we're having in this particular dimension and fractal of self and so there is a giving thanks to that energy even giving thanks to the pain giving thanks to the the need for healing because of the beautiful developing and un unraveling things that it brings forth to us and sort of graces our saga with it, it gives it it's like a perfume this card to me it's there's tones there's layers and and when you think you've 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 smelled all that that perfume can do the sun comes out and changes it's makeup and the molecules on your skin again. And so there is there is this, there are undercurrents here of giving and giving gratitude even to those things and people and places that have put you in a place where you feel you need this healing, where you feel you need this reconnection with self. And this is a real connection with the elements around you, the within you and the without you, drawing it all in, in order to expand it all out and being able to be fully accepting and loving and compassionate to self is, is truly the message here. I say all of that with <laughs> the prefix of, I say all of that because there is a lot of pain 
there is a lot of distress. There, there are illusions uh, melting in front of people's eyes who have got an attachment to those illusions. There are um, there are uh, presenters being. Uh, brought down from the place of glory uh, it, there is a cognitive dissonance with that and that sounds like a stupid example but it it's the there's people's attachments to this there are addictions to um like daytime tv is a is a huge addiction for so many people um and when those illusions are shattered through things like that we're gonna see the 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 pain we're going to see the distress uh, of these people who are not ready to see those illusions they're not ready to see that they are illusions and so there is a lot of of heartache on on many different areas that's just just a silly example but not a silly example because it, it's an addiction it's a living outside of self you know living by proxy <laughs> and and when that proxy illusion is being dissolved in front of them it, it's it's intense especially when they they didn't seek it they weren't asking for it so there is a lot of pain in the atmosphere um and it's about the adepts holding space and time i think for the most part of just being in recognition of that pain not being um egotistical or chastising or belittling just realizing that no matter what the illusion is whether it's from the sublime to the ridiculous the most the most tragic and painful um to tv presenters energetically very similar energetic fingerprints this week regardless of where they are on that scale it's mainly about illusions being literally crumbled shattered in front of people's eyes where they have had a real attachment to that illusion this does speak to also um people you know amongst you in that the, there's a lot of there's a lot of pain that's been held in by people who are maybe in the wrong relationships or uh, in the wrong job and for some reason the energies are just flooding through the this realm and and things are becoming untenable because things are being seen veils are being lifted or washed away again it's for the adepts to know this to hold space and time for the most part in a graceful um in a, a kind and compassionate manner. This is where we find the love. This is where we actually f find more to add to the tapestry of this experience of being the observers of such pain, of being the librarians that are keeping record of what has been done to people. Uh, all of that does more than, pe than people think. All of that is a fail-safe of the adepts to not make it quite so easy to rewrite history, not make it quite so easy for cycles to continue for too long. Uh, so being the observer of this in a kindly and compassionate way is paramount for the adepts this week. It feels like there's going to be a lot of pain coming down the the tunnel of those that have got attachment still to the political sphere. Um, to what else did I want to say? The the sort of acting sphere, presenter sphere. Um, I can see some, but the religious as well you know there's something else this week that's going to come out that really with with the church with the pope type of energy that to really crumble and shatter some hearts and i've seen people not be quite ready to leave the church but something happens where 
the illusion has shattered, but they're not quite, they weren't ready, they didn't really ask for it yet. And it's like watching somebody going through the worst breakup um, of being ghosted. It, it, there's that type of energy that where these people feel very let down, heartbroken uh, by their religious leader. So look out for that. That's just the first card. Damn it, I was going to rush through, wasn't it? <laughs> so we've got the King of Wands next. And so this speaks of the King of Wands is the fire, the Sagittarius energy, the, the person who, you know, lights up the room. People want to be around. They, they, want, they feel connected to them. It's a bit of a a uh, cheeky energy. It's, it's in the king card. It, it's they've got the real balance of being able to be authoritative, but also not look that way. To to be approachable, to be to get their point across with a lot of fun or a lot of jokes, and but but they do get their point across. And I, for those that are really observing them, you can see that oh no, you have got that authority. Um, but you've got a real balance, a real skill set of, of with the people. Uh, it's the people's king type of energy. In this card, you can see he's holding his staff. Um, he's got his kingly robes on and he's got this little cheeky monkey on, on his shoulder. And, and this speaks to that type of energy is that it sort of gets its own way um, without you realizing that it's got its own way as a king as an authority and that can be good and bad and so they they're the energy also that sort of are coming in and out of different sagas they tend not to stick too long to just one thing this is a lot about the entertainment world it's a lot about the likes of trump i know trump's a gemini but that's the balanced opposite of sagittarius something about him speaks to a lot of Sagittarius energy Gemini and Sagittarius do do that for me anyway as the the spokeswoman man type energy the people pleasing energy that well some Gemini's but they you know it it speaks of it speaks of the likes of Boris that type of energy there's a lot to do with that there's a lot of um sacrificial lambs and 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 that is going to cause pain and divide and distraction so we go back to the star card as the adepts to just observe that trauma that pain as these different uh, sectors of people have this sort of break up you know because illusions are being shattered uh, there's a lot more about hidden messages. This king's got one foot on shore, like all of the kings and queens um, in the tarot, and one hidden. There is a real hidden agenda here that even going after these characters that I'm feeling and speaking about it, it is a psyop in of itself because they are they really do believe in their vested interests. They really do believe in their purpose and role. Uh, these people have been trained for this purpose and trained for this role. They've been indoctrinated to think of nothing else. And so they are going through as much pain, um, ironically, as those people who are, who are attached to them, who have got this sort of savior complex with them. And so this speaks of there is a lot of hidden moving parts right now that are that are actually inflicting the same pain and that just moves down the chain of command or the, the chain of um, worship, so to speak. So be aware of that going back to being the observer. But then we've got the sun card, another major arcana, and this speaks of warmth, enlightenment. It speaks of, um, you know, it speaks of you've got slow down and speed up at the same time um, because there's growth here, you know, but with less effort, you know, a plant, it's it, there's less effort for it to stay alive when it's warm. 
uh, when the temperature is not freezing. Uh, they, they can grow more, they can blossom, they can create seed, they can, but it looks like they're chilling. They're not having to work as hard. So the sun really does activate you by slowing you down, but doing so much at the same time. And that's the same for these frequencies coming in, in that to show the way, so to speak, this week would be to move away completely from the things that you've been attached to, that you've been pushing, that you've been sort of feeling like you're putting your head against a brick wall and actually take it. You know, you know what's coming to mind when you when you've got a kid that just or you or you've got a horse even that you're trying to train. But a kid or a horse, same same difference. They all should have lead ropes. And there's a thing Abby does with it, it's join up, but she just takes a book and some seeds and nuts, whatever she wants to eat, making it look interesting. And she'll just sit and read, read and read until the horse finally sort of, and she's rus ru rustling packets. She, she's eating, you know, making noises that are pleasing uh, as she eats very quickly without having to break a sweat or stress out herself and the horse or the kid indeed she's really good at it with her younger brothers of not fighting she'll she'll say what she needs to say maybe she's getting into it a little bit with them then quickly she recognizes that i'm done i'm done i'm not entering into an argument with a eight-year-old or a whatever year old I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go over here I'm gonna do what I wanted to do with you in the first place and I'm gonna have fun with it I'm gonna be joyful about it I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna do it anyway regardless and it's fun and just like the horse very very quickly the kid or the horse is coming over and and they are chasing you to investigate what you initially wanted them to look at anyway you wanted to look at the 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 reason for living the 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 joy and the happiness not because there has to be a payoff at the end but just because it's available here to to embrace to be able to even dance through the pain collectively. Uh, it would be for you to go and first stomp the ground on your own to create enough noise and to create enough interest for others to join you. So if you found yourself um, but in your head like with that five of wands initially for too long, trying desperately, knowing you have this purpose at the end to... I don't know how people see the truth, how people, you know, um, what's the word, exonerate you, whatever it is. And you feel that you have been doing that and you recognize what I'm saying within you. Take it away from that then. Say, okay, when this truth or when this exoneration is to hypothetically happen, what would be the ideal on the other side of that, on the six of wands, what would be the victory? And for a lot of people, the victory would be that, well, that this never happens again, or, or that this doesn't happen to anybody else ever again, or that finally the people that have been causing divide can get out the way and I can create some kind of unity. All of that and more are going to be answered by you actually going in a complete other direction and like a frog, frog leaping to the, the ultimate goal once you get beyond the thing you've been butting your head against in the five of wands energy. So if it is to create unity, then, then go and create something that a lot of people can be unified in and you have a purpose to know that you know that you know that it's even good enough for you to have music and adverts, for you to have fun on your own, to create enough um, noise, enough energy, enough of a, a build for people to come and investigate you just like the horses would or just like a kid would. 
if you, if your ultimate goal is to be exonerated, then go in the different direction, exonerate yourself. Stop silencing yourself, stop dressing uh, down, stop, stop, you know, um, belittling yourself, stop being a bit meek and mild and quiet for the fear because you haven't quite been exonerated yet. So you've got the fear of judgment of others, you know, say, OK, I'm not I'm not looking for that. I'm going to frog leap that into the exoneration energy and I'm just going to walk like I'm already exonerated ironically that's the very thing that would exonerate you in other people's eyes because you're not hiding you're not you're proud and you you haven't really got an attachment anymore to their judgment yay or nay and so you will find that you've got like in that six of wands the right people actually just saying okay i'll follow you 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 you, you've got something here because you you're saying you want exoneration you've taken it and so there's something there to be heard that's the type of 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 energy play that i would use this week as for the energies that are coming in that's the type of equation that i'll be applying to my week uh, and hopefully you will too now on the bottom of the deck we have got i've done the bottom of the deck for the six of wands but for this reading here we've got the three of cups so this speaks of it speaks of nourishment. It speaks of, again, divine feminine energy. I love this card because the, the toddler is drinking the breast milk out of the chalice and the baby is drinking the breast milk straight from the breast. So the three of them, the trinity together, it speaks of the real power of divine feminine energy, uh, the ability to... Um, provide to have provision for to be giving of just because because it feels so good to love something enough to nourish it to watch it grow to know that you've had a part to play in that growth in that expansion in that new saga that new creational story so again applying your energies to what you frog leaped into being your ultimate goal this week will really accelerate the results as to how fast it grows. You know, the breast milk is the liquid gold. And so you're speaking about taking your gold and putting it in a place that it can be reproduced, that it can build, not be stripped apart, not be divided up, not be um, giving, have less value because it is, is torn apart or stolen so really taking that energy and applying it with intent where this reading is guiding you to do will create a a real bountiful payoff rather than the 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 negative payoff that you would be ending up if you just stayed in that five of wands energy but be aware that that five of wands energy is very strong and if you want to apply it for your greatness, if you want to take this advice on board, then I see it as a huge strength, as a great changing point, as a great time to pivot and, and take the energy that you've built up and, and, and take that wand and light an eternal fire elsewhere to attract the right people in. But if you were to stay in it and the distractions and illusions will be so intense that you're going to be pulled, there's going to be poking and prodding to try and get you back in the game, to try and get you back in this endless battle, uh, not realizing that you're, you're, you're in it then on the behest of other people's wants and needs that are really unclear. They're not what they say they are. So be aware of that five of wands energy, apply it for your greatness rather than your detriment. And we'll all be in a better off place by this time next week. Much love, balance and wholeness. I hope everyone had a great bank holiday weekend. I know I did. It was my birthday. Then it was my mom's birthday. Um, and it's my brother's next. So it's a bit, May is a birthday month for us, for sure, for sure. Love and appreciate you all. 
oh thanks for sharing thanks for checking out the etsy and if you want to read in you just hook up with me at truedivinemedia at gmail.com but you can find all of that in the description box below find me on social media try with facebook i keep popping in and out more than i have been so that's a good thing i suppose but you know hit me up you'll find me on there and eventually i'll get back to you on there it's just yeah energy's on there a bit like oh, should i today no so you know but i'm observing i'm doing my work behind the scenes but hit me up give me a follow add me as a friend all are welcome until they're not you know so let's have a conversation big love Oh, 